I've cut my fingers and I've got a couple of options. Bulky gauze binding, flexible adhesive bandage. Bulky binding, flexible bandage. I take the flexible adhesive bandage. Adhesive bandages are made of various materials, among which is the main support called ETS, a fabric which is elastic in only one direction. It's a fabric which will become the adhesive portion of the bandage. This 1800 meter roll of fabric can make 1.8 million small bandages or 300,000 large bandages. A thin coating of glue is applied on one surface of the fabric. Then it's heated to 49 degrees centigrade in an oven to puff it up, creating holes in the glue coating. Then the fabric is newly rolled up into 300 meter lengths. Bandages are of different sizes. These blades cut the glued rolls into strips of varying widths. These rolls are taken away and stacked, ready for the next step, application of the little cushioned protective pads. The material used for the pads are shown here as a large roll of fabric, which will have to be cut. Here a machine cuts the fabric pads. These extremely sharp blades have to be sharpened every six months. The cushion fabric is separated into narrow strips which will later be glued to the ETS fabric. The strips of cushion fabric are now ready to be applied to the bandages. This is the machine that fabricates the bandages. The roll of bandage components is unrolled. The machine assembles them, then cuts and individually wraps them. The bandages are wrapped one by one. This machine applies the unprinted white wrapping paper, which protects the bandages. And now they proceed to packaging. Packaging speed depends on the product, varying between 300 and 1500 bandages a minute. This roller perforates holes, which will allow the bandages to be easily separated from one another. Strips of bandages are then placed into boxes. Here we see other small bandages which are made in a different way. The cushion strip is positioned at the center of the ETS fabric strip. The cushioned pad isn't sterile at this stage. They will have to be sterilized right at the end of the fabrication process. Next step, applying two plastic paper protectors over the glue covered ends of the bandage. This done, the bandage is drawn by suction with a robotic arm and placed between two wrapping papers. In slow motion, we see the wrapping action better. This machine is much faster than the eye. At full speed, it can wrap 300 bandages a minute. The bandages exit the machine perfectly wrapped. Certain types of bandages have to go through a sequential bandage machine to have aeration holes pierced in them. These holes allow air to circulate and thus help promote healing. These bandages are now ready. Sometimes they print instructions on bandage wrappers. This paper printing machine is used with bandage machines. Two polymer plates receive ink from a series of rollers in order to reproduce the desired design. The bandages pass through at high speed. Before being packaged, the bandages are finally sterilized 10,000 at a time. Bandages are automatically counted here, placed in a chute and fall into the packaging box. The large roll of ETS fabric seen at the beginning will have allowed them to make nearly 2 million bandages. Each year, this facility produces a staggering 4 billion bandages in 65 different models.